So what exactly is this weird thing on the end of the saw? It's called the nib, and it has sparked many arguments. Some will tell you it's there so you can flip it over and, and start the cut. It's a tiny little thing that could break off very easily. And anyone who is going to buy one of these knew how to start a saw. Some say it's there to hang it on a rack somehow to hang up the saw, but there really is no example or explanation of that in history. Some say it was there to tie on a cover for the teeth so you could actually tie it to the back of the saw without it slipping off. But again, there's no history backing that up. The truth is we actually know what it's for. It's the same reason that there's a lamb's tongue or a cut in here or other detailed carving and sculpting that might be on the handle. It shows the workman's skill. If he can do that, then he can make a good blade. If you look at some of the pictures from the really old ones, you'll see some really intricate nibs and different styles and multiples. Basically, the sawmaker is saying, you know the quality of this blade because in order for me to do that, I've got to get good at all of this. So next time you find yourself getting a little hungry, well, there's a thought to let you nibble on.